Hello, in this video, I'm going to go over how to create a forest level using Unreal Engine 5 and Quicksaw Mega Scans. So, I'm in the Unreal Project Browser, and I'm going to start on the third person template. It doesn't matter what template you use, but make sure that you enable starter content. Then, give this an appropriate name, so I'm going to call this Project Forest, and click Create. So, I'm going to create my forest in a completely new level. So, what we're going to do is we go File, and go New Level, and just select Basic, and click Create. Once we're in this new level, click save, and I want us to right click and create a new folder and call it forest level. Then if we head inside this folder, we just wanna call this map forest and click save. The next thing I want us to do is basically just delete this floor, which comes with this level. And what we're gonna do next is create a landscape for our forest. To do that, you wanna go to select mode and select landscape. This green grid will appear. This basically represents the size that our landscape is going to be. Right now, it's going to be very big. So to adjust the size of this grid, what we can do is go over to section size and we can change the size here. So I can make it seven by seven quads and that'll make it a lot smaller. And under sections per comp, I can change this to be two by two and that'll make it a bit bigger. And we're going to adjust some of the settings here to adjust the size of our grid. I'm just going to leave mine at 15 by 15 quads with a one by one section size. Once you're happy with the size of your grid, just click create and it'll create a landscape to fill up that grid. Once you've created a landscape, we should be in sculpt mode and we have all these different tools that we can use to basically create the landscape of our forest. We're going to be using two tools to create the landscape of our forest. The first tool is this sculpt tool. And if I just drag somewhere on my landscape and hold with the left mouse button, it's going to kind of create this little hill. So we can basically use the sculpt tool to kind of like deform our landscape. There are a couple of settings in here. So we have the tool strength, which basically controls how strong this tool is going to be. The brush size, which basically controls the size of this brush and the fall off. And this basically controls how steep of a fall off um, this tool is going to create. So I make this something like zero, then it's going to have a very sharp fall off. You can see that's quite sharp. However, if I make this something like one, then it's going to have a very smooth fall off. So I'm just going to undo that. And just around the edges of my um, forest, I'm going to sculpt. And quick tip, if you want to make it do the opposite, so right now if I hold the left mouse button, it will create hills. If I hold the shift button and the left mouse button, it will do the opposite and kind of indent on the landscape. So I'm just going to create a border for my forest. Okay, so once you've sculpted around the edge of your landscape, the next tool I want to show you is the noise tool. And we can basically use this tool to kind of make our landscape look a bit uneven. So if I go here, under noise mode, we can go add, sub, or both. Just select add, and just paint around on your landscape with this tool. And you should see it starts to make the surface of the landscape a bit uneven. So the reason we're adding the noise tool is because in landscapes, in real life, nothing's really truly flat. So by adding this noise tool, we kind of make the surface of our landscape a bit uneven. So I'm just gonna play around with this across the surface of my landscape. You can adjust the settings here to get different results. Okay, so once you've done that and added some noise for your landscape, we can go back to select mode. And the next thing we wanna do is add a material for our landscape, because right now it's just this gray weird material and looks kind of weird we need to make this look like a forest material. So we're gonna create a material for our landscape. In order to do that, we can open up our content drawer and we'll go to my forest level folder. And inside of here, I'm gonna right click and go material. And I'll just call this my forest material. Then we can head inside here. So on our landscape, we're gonna make it have multiple materials that we can basically blend and shift between. In order to achieve that effect, what we're going to do is just right click and look for layer blend. And we'll just scroll up to the top and select this landscape layer blend and hook up from here into here. Then with the layer blend selected, just click create two new array elements. So we're going to basically paint our landscape two colors. The first color is going to be this grass texture and the second color is going to be this dirt texture because those are normally the two materials that I associate with forest landscapes, but you can add more if you want to. In order to add a texture material to the layer blend, all we can do is hold the T button on our keyboard, then just left click 
and this will create a texture node. Then select this texture node, and under here, under the texture, select the graphs. If you've installed the starter content, you should have this. And just hook up from RGB into here, then copy this and paste, and then look for the dirt texture. So I think gravel. So yeah, so this gravel texture, and just hook this up here. Then just so that this is a bit more clear, we select the layer blend and go here. Under layer name, just call this grass. And if we scroll down to the second one, let's just call this dirt. And under preview weight blend, just put 0.5 for both of them. Once we've done this, we can click apply, close this, and then we can select our landscape. Here under landscape material, I'm just going to select the forest material. And our landscape should go with this black color. So that looks kind of weird. In order to fix that, we need to go back to our landscape mode and go to paint. And we can see our grass and our dirt. What we need to do is just click create layer info and go weight blended layer normal and just select that. And just select save. And this will make our landscape have this grass material. If we ever wanted part of our landscape to have the dirt material, what we can do is just go add, create a new weighted blend layer info, then select this material. We can paint the areas that we want to have the dirt landscape material. And again, we can just adjust the settings here if we want to. The next thing we're going to do for our forest landscape is add some grass, trees, and rocks to our forest landscape, just so it looks a bit more like a forest. In order to do that, we can go back to our select mode and we're going to go quickly add to the project. Just click this little square and go to Quixel Bridge. Now, Quixel Bridge is automatically integrated into Unreal Engine and it basically provides a library of high quality assets that we can basically use to create some cool landscapes. Then under search, I want us to look for grass and select this Kyuku grass. Probably saying that wrong. And then I just want us to add this to our project and just add it anywhere inside your project. Once you've done that, it should be somewhere within your content drawer. So mine is under Mega Scans, 3D Plants, and Kyoku Grass. And it's added a bunch of grass. Now, if I go here under Select and go to Foliage, I'm going to see a bunch of grass. If I just select the little checkbox icon, it'll make the grass kind of like appear a bit. And if I hover over here, I'm going to have this brush. Wherever I select with this brush, it's going to paint some grass. So you can see it's already painting some grass. You can adjust some of the settings of the grass. So for example, if I just, I'm actually just going to remove everything. So if I hold shift and left click, it will remove everything. And if I just select one piece of grass and select it here, under here, we can change some of the settings. So if I increase this density, for example, and make this 300, then the grass is going to be a lot more dense and appear all in one area. So I'll make it something like 600, so you can see. And we can see that's quite, there's quite a lot of grass in this one patch. However, if I just change this to be something like 10, and then painted with my brush here, only a couple of pieces of grass spawned when I painted with my brush over here. So by selecting specific foliage meshes, we can adjust some of the settings underneath here. I'm just gonna change this back to 100, and paint some grass all over my landscape because in forests, they normally have a bit of grass. So one more thing with Quixel Bridge, it also has loads of different materials. So if you weren't happy with the material of this landscape and wanted to have a different one, Quixel Bridge has loads of different materials that you can choose. So if I go to services, or I can even just search for a specific service that I'm looking for, I can download loads of high quality texture models that I want to use in my landscape. So you can just change them there if you want to do that. So the next thing I'm going to do is add some rocks to my landscape. So if you go to collections and then go environment and go natural and just like the broadleaf forest, it has loads of different like mossy rocks and stuff. What we can do is simply just drag any rock that you like and just drag it somewhere inside from Quixel Bridge to here and it will appear inside of our project and we'll start to download in the background. Next, if we head back to Quixel Bridge, we go to 3D Plants and go Garden Plant, 
and download this boxwood and just add this to your project. This will add some little like shrubs and bushes to our project. And I'm just gonna place them around my landscape. So I'm gonna go back to foliage mode and place these bushes around my landscape. Another thing, if you just wanna add one single bush in a specific place on your landscape, what we can do is go to single, select um, a bush model here and then place, and that will create the model at that specific point where we selected. And then there's one more type of asset I wanna to add to my landscape, and that is a tree. So I go add and look for pixel bridge. And then I'm just going to drag in this tree because I already have it in my project. And we have all the resources we need to create a forest. So what I'm going to do next is create a quick time lapse of me designing my forest environment with these assets. So the first thing I'm going to do is make this tree trunk very big. So I'm going to make it five in all its axes. And I'm just going to duplicate and paste this around my map. Quick note, you can press Alt and select to duplicate something quickly. Currently, I think that looks kind of decent. I just think the edges of this map look a bit weird. So I'm gonna see if I can get like a cliff or something, which will make that look a bit better. So Quixel Bridge, if there's like a cliff, I'm trying to basically kind of re recreate this kind of. So there's a forest wall, okay. I'm gonna select this. And by the way, um, you can also choose the quality of the asset. So right now, um, by default, it's medium quality, but if you want to do this, it could be low quality. So I should just make this one low quality because I think my PC is going to struggle a bit. So with that, we have created a decent looking forest. Although there is one problem. With some of the assets on Quixel Bridge, they don't come with collision by default, so my character can kind of just walk through them, which looks kind of weird for your game. So in order to fix that, go to the asset that you want to have collision. So I'm gonna go to this rock. If I go here and go to the search, it will bring up where this is located in my content drawer. If I go here and under collision, if I just go add sphere simplified collision, this will add a simplified sphere collision around it. We can add more complex collision. So if I just delete this and go collision and go add this one, it's a bit more detailed. Although the more complex of a collision you give it, the um, basically more performance it's gonna basically drain from your computer. So just keep that in mind. So I go save and go play. I now can't walk through this rock. So that's basically how you'd add collision to the objects of the Quixel Mega Scan. Because by default, I don't think some of them come with collision. And with that, we have created a forest level. So hopefully, you now know how to use some of the tools inside of Unreal Engine and Quixel Bridge to create um, a decent looking forest level. That's all for this tutorial. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.